In this video, I'm going to talk about whether a narcissist can change. The main issue though is do they want to change? Narcissism is on a spectrum. So at one end of the spectrum you have a highly empathic person, an empath, who has, just like everyone else, narcissistic traits. But they're able to deeply empathise with people. And on the other end of the spectrum you have a person who's completely incapable of empathy and who feels utter contempt for other people. In order to want to change, you need to be able to know that you're going to get something better through changing than what you're getting now. This is where the difficulty lies. Most narcissists don't change because they don't want to change. There's nothing that convinces them that life's going to be better after they've changed. Most narcissists have such a strong sense of entitlement that they think the way they're behaving is okay. Even if their victim's really hurting, you know, and, um, and people are, are, you know, getting really upset with them, that doesn't mean that they question themselves or think they're doing anything wrong. And it's really unusual for a narcissist to ever go to therapy. And if they do, they'll often have contempt for the therapist, um, not really take part in the process and just intellectualize everything rather than allow themselves to be emotionally vulnerable. Narcissists wear a mask and they identify with that mask as if it's who they really are. It's a fake persona, but without it, they have to face a void inside so much pain and emptiness which is why they had the mask in the first place. So for a narcissist to change they'd have to allow their whole identity to just fall apart and that's incredibly hard to do. A narcissist can have a moment of revelation where they see their mask for what it is. They know that they're not being their, their true selves deep down but the issue is that because they haven't developed their own emotional self it means that it's really hard to hold on to this perception and in order to change they need to be able to hold on to this and to keep doing the work and face the loneliness and the deep pain and, and all of the loss of their identity. They can even have moments where they completely see how they've ruined the relationships they're in but the problem is that still doesn't mean that they're going to want to change because they perceive it as they would have to lose so much and it's really hard for them to see what they would actually get from changing because if you don't feel loved and you don't love and you can't empathize all of that means that it's really hard to imagine what it would be like to care about people and what it would be like to feel loved you know, they're used to being loved for their fake persona. And if you think that this persona is the only thing that's going to get you, um, you know, positive attention from people, then, and it's the only thing that's going to make you um, seem like somebody who matters, you know, whether that's through positive attention, whether that's through um, getting emotional reactions through hurting people, you know, it's going to be really hard to let go of that that persona that makes you matter in the world. So most narcissists, even if they do have a revelation, will quickly let it go. So expecting a narcissist to give up this mask they're wearing is like expecting a heroin addict to give up heroin. It's not something that's going to happen in just one day, you know, or through just one conversation where you point out how much they're hurting you and, you know, how much they're ruining the relationship that doesn't mean they're going to suddenly lose their addiction for their behaviour. And the fact is they're addicted to your reactions. A lot of empathic people hold on to this hope that the person they're with is going to change because of all those times when it looks like they actually are changing. Narcissists generally don't take responsibility for themselves. So an overt narcissist will very rarely apologise um, for, for their behaviour. A covert narcissist can, can often apologise in a way that can seem, you know, really heartfelt. Um, but that's why it's really key to look at someone's behaviour um, after they've apologised and not just listen to the words they say that might make you feel great, you know, and might fill you with lots of hope. Because a covert narcissist will apologise but will be playing a game, you know, to see how much they can get away with. And apologising is all just part of the, the cycle of abuse because, um, 
you know, when when they apologise and you forgive them and, you know, things continue to be okay for a bit, they know that they can just um, go back to being abusive and that as soon as they apologise, they're going to be forgiven again. Um, and so this is all part of the game for them. And many people waste years of their life holding on to this hope that because of all of these times when it looked like the narcissist was changing, there is this hope that at some point they're going to change for for longer you know they're just that they must be improving every time they change and so they're going to learn from from each each time and they're going to eventually just stop behaving like that but in reality it's just not the case and you know if somebody continues to be abusive that means that they don't want to change and if they keep apologizing but then they keep behaving in the same way it means that they're not changing you know that's not how change works change is something you can actually see you know it's not something that that happens in a cyclical way over and over again you know the same bad behavior repeating itself and then the same good behavior in between each time that's not real change this sparks a couple more questions one of them is do narcissists know what they're doing are they doing it intentionally are they trying to hurt their victim intentionally and consciously and the other question is, does that matter? If they were aware, would that mean that they would stop doing it? Dr. George Simon has worked with narcissists for over 25 years. And in his experience, he believes that narcissists are very good at pushing people's buttons and consciously knowing exactly what they're doing. They're also very good at understanding that people who do have a conscience are going to want to see the best in people. And they're going to, um, they're going to try to understand the other person and they're very good at taking advantage of this. There are narcissists who um, are less conscious of what they're doing, you know, less aware, but it's really hard to tell the difference and it's dangerous to assume that a narcissist doesn't know what they're doing. If a narcissist realised just how much they were hurting you, would they change? If a narcissist is unaware that they're depending on your emotional reactions and they're depending on you getting hurt in order to feel powerful and in order to feel like they matter that doesn't mean that they're they're going to stop doing it when you tell them you know because at the end of the day that is what they rely on and changing that form of behavior as we've already looked at is extremely hard and it means letting go of um, this source of supply and um, something that really keeps them going in everyday life. If they can't see an alternative to that, then them being aware of what they're doing by you telling them isn't going to change anything. A couple of people quoted Maya Angelou in the comments section and I thought that was just the perfect quote for this video. She said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. So I hope that this was helpful. Please continue to tell me what videos you want me to make. I made this video because so many people asked the question about whether narcissists can change. So I do look out for what you want me to make videos about. Um, and if you could email those videos, that would be really great because I can miss them sometimes in the comments section. So the email address is contact at liveabusefree.com. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.